How important is your testosterone level? Well, 10 years ago, people generally said it was super important. Whole books have been sold advocating for things to do that you can increase your testosterone level with the promise that you'll get steroid-like gains. Over recent years, I think the pendulum has shifted quite a lot in the other direction, and there are now a lot of people saying your testosterone level is basically irrelevant within the physiological range. The idea is that there is an effect if you're hypogonadal, if you have low testosterone levels, and there is no effect within the physiological range, but then there is an effect again when you get to steroid-like level testosterone concentrations in the blood. To me, this theory makes no sense. A relationship that goes up and then plateaus and then goes up basically does not occur anywhere in biology, in nature. And if you look at the research on testosterone supplementation, and in particular testosterone replacement therapy, it is very clear that if you give people more testosterone, the higher their blood concentration of testosterone, the greater their increases in lean body mass. For example, a study by Wang et al. from the testosterone gel study group, and I'm not making these names up, is a perfect illustration of this. They gave people three levels of testosterone gel, which got their levels within the physiological range up to higher and higher levels. And at each successive level, they gained more lean body mass. So yes, absolutely, even within the physiological range, your testosterone level influences muscle growth. Now, technically this was lean body mass, but uh, clearly another research shows that this is strongly related to muscle mass. However, the effects are not nearly as large as you would get on steroids. It's a dose response effect. If you have small increases, they have small effects. So you can't expect to have steroid-like gains if you just increase your testosterone level 20% or so. However, your testosterone level absolutely matters, and even, even within the physiological range. And the main thing you can do about that, uh, in fact, the first line treatment for hypogonadism is just a healthy lifestyle. Enough sleep, low stress level, uh, high enough fat intake, overall good healthy diet. Those are the most important things, not having nutrient deficiencies. Those are simply the most important things. And then some other stuff you can do may have a small additional effect and it's gonna have very, very small additional effects on your gains.